Ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it with a brand new video. We are here in Guadalajara. We're going to a baseball game, give you guys a little date in the life. Check it out. It's always been my dream to go to a baseball game uh, here in Mexico. And it turns out my favorite team, the Charros, are taking on the team from Mon Monterrey in the semifinals of the playoffs. So I thought, hey, this is a great time to come to Guadalajara. I have my ticket right here. It was 500 pesos. I have my ticket right here. Prices range from like 1,000 pesos down to 150 pesos. Now, before I left my hotel, I checked to see if I could do a sports bet on this game, and I could. So I ended up putting 50 bucks on the home team to win this game. They are minus 150 favorites with an over under of 10 and a half. So it's supposed to be a, a massive game. I think what I have to do though first, because I'm repping the home team, I gotta love the Charles, I gotta get some swag. So we're gonna go buy some swag, pick up some shorts, a t-shirt, maybe a hat. I don't know, let's go. Number one Charles fan international. <laughs> Bien? Look Bien. Good? good looking guy. Let's go, Charles, baby. Let's go. Hey, amigo, I need a beer. See. Si. What do you have? Tienes Heineken? Heineken. Okay, see. Si. Sí. Sí. ¿Tiene tarjeta del estadio? Tarjeta, sí. ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿80? Sí. Bien. 80 pesos, you gotta love it. Wow, oh, look at that. Double fisted. I like it. Let's go, we're ready to play. Thanks, buddy. Right. Take that. Woohoo! Let's go. Oh, see, sí, bien. Yeah. Gracias, amigo. Oh my gosh. Que le vaya bien. Perfecto. Yo necesito tacos. Todo bien. Gracias, amigo. I think I'm supposed to be, I'm literally like front row up there, but the odds of me getting a ball are low. I want to get a ball, baby. This trip wouldn't be complete if I don't get a ball. I'm getting a ball. Check that out, huh? It's a good seat. Hey, my friend. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a base hit, baby. So we like to see. We got money on the team. Let's go. The music that they play when they go up the bat, it's all salsa. I love it. One of it makes me want to dance, man. It makes me want to dance. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. He's on first. Ooh. Oh, hey, there we go. Going out the left center field. So a lot of the teams actually here in the Winter League are based off of the West Coast of Mexico from central to west coast so it gets a bad rep of all being cartel affiliated yeah the major league baseball actually banned players from coming down to Mexico to play in the winter league it used to be a very popular thing and certain players like Pete Rose and Ricky Henderson create oh shit oh my gosh Guys, when these balls go up, I get so excited. Oh. Yeah, so like guys like Pete Rose, Ricky Henderson, they came down during the off season. If they didn't manage to make playoffs or even after playoffs, they would come down here and they would cash in $7,000 to $10,000 a month cash, right? So it gets a bad reputation in this league, but a lot of people from the MLB used to come down and play in this league in the off season. 
Now, a lot of Major League Baseball players actually go up and down in the league, so it's really common for them after they get dropped from the Major League team, they actually come to this league. So if anybody watches baseball, you might know the name Roberto Osuna. He played for the Toronto Blue Jays, relief pitcher, pretty good, but had some problems off the field so he got dropped by most teams picked up by the houston astros recently and then dropped due to allegations about assaulting people now he's actually on the charos on this team that i'm watching this is my my home team baby so i hope to see him in here so there's a quick backstory for you guys it's really interesting stuff you know you gotta love the mexican baseball league right. we're trying to get something to eat this guy's flashing a box in the air i don't know what the fuck it is I have no idea what the fuck I'm getting. I think it's a churro. I have no idea. I got my little card here. Como estas, amigo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tacos? Oh, see, I love tacos. I'm doing a video for my friends. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll get uh, tacos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need some tea. Te gusta? Eh? Te gusta? It's good? It's bien? All right. Woo. Okay, it's carne? Barbacoa. Pescado? Oh, barbacoa. Oh, oh, res. Yeah, beef, beef. In English, beef. All right, yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here. Take that, my friend. Yeah, let's go. What is this? Cuatro, cinco? Okay, see you, see you. See this. Oh, I'd love to tip you, my friend, yeah. I love tip. Well, we can do a little bit higher. Let's do 15%. Yeah. De nada, amigo. Oh my gosh. Si, si, si. Bien. Gracias, amigo. Give you guys a little tour. What do we got? Okay, it looks like beans and beef. You see that? Beans and beef. Let's just try it straight up. And then we'll put on the, then we will put on the hot sauce. It's actually really good. Now, I haven't eaten since seven in the morning when I woke up for trading. These guys are right into it over there. I haven't eaten since seven, seven in the morning, eight in the morning. So anything will taste really good. So this is really good. Oh yeah, we gotta try it with some hot sauce. Gotta love baseball food. Drink beer. You drink beer, you eat, you watch a game, you vlog, you love life, you travel. Life is great, baby. Oh my god, we got, we got churros coming. Oh yeah. I want a churro. Hey, amigo! Churro. Oh, fuck yeah, we're getting churros now. Let's go. <laughs> we eating, we gambling, we drinking. Let me see this. Careta? Yes. Okay, see, see. Oh my gosh. Okay, the other one. No, no chocolate. Is it same, same? Yes. Leche? Okay. Let's do this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Me gusta. Want to say hi? Hola? Yeah, there we go, baby. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's awesome, eh? Let's go. No, no refund. Oh my god. All right, yeah, see you, see you. Oh yeah, here you go, buddy. Take my money. I love giving tips. Oh, no propina? Say propina. 
I always support you guys. Siento? That's Ultra Mass Cerveza. Yeah, it's uno más. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are up four to four. Four to four, baby, let's go! Now, fun fact for you guys, actually the owners that own the tea and the sponsors, they make a lot of them, they make the majority of their money from ticket sales, but not just from that, but from beer sales. That's why this league is very cutthroat. So if a team is doing very bad, the sponsors start pulling out and they get very upset with the team and you start seeing the team going through different rosters and different managers very, very quickly. Because a lot of their money is actually made through selling beer, through selling, obviously, through selling tickets. So it's a very cutthroat industry, this, this Winter League Baseball here in Mexico. So hey, I gotta support the teams, man. I gotta start drinking beer, I gotta start buying stuff. I mean, I've already been doing it, but I gotta get myself another beer. I gotta support the team, baby. All right, here we are, bottom of the six, runner on second, full count, and we hit the ball! Let's go! Run home, baby! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the top of the ninth inning. Home team, seven. Away team, four. So we are winning. I am hoping to see Roberto Osuna the major league pitcher walked through this gate. Oh my gosh, it's him. Oh my God. Let's go, Roberto. This is awesome. I love it. I saw him pitch all the time at the Toronto Blue Jays. I got a chance to see him here pitching in Jalisco, Guadalajara, Mexico, baby. Ooh. Yeah. One out, baby. Oh yeah, come on, that's two. Yeah! Boom! Come on, fly ball, fly ball. Yeah! We cash our ticket, we win our money, you gotta love it. Hey, if you guys like this video, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. I had an amazing time here at the Guadalajara Charos game, baby. Woo! I'll see you guys in the next one, ladies and gentlemen.